What's up YouTube? I hope each and every one of you guys are healthy and enjoying life today. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the 2024 Kia Forte GT line. Huge thank you to Cole Dunn over at Safford Kia of Fredericksburg, Virginia for allowing me to do this video for you guys today. If you are interested in this particular Forte or any Kia product, I'll be sure to have Cole's information on screen as well as in the description box down below. But with that said, let's get into the video. It is a beautiful sunny 55 degree January day. However, the only problem is it is a little bit breezy. So I do want to apologize in advance if there is any wind noise in today's video. I also want to apologize for the winter sun's positioning because you may see my shadow a couple times throughout the video. Not much can be done about that. But just like usual, first I'm going to talk about the exterior and the performance. So like I said, this is a 2024 Kia Forte GT line. And this particular one has been painted in the $295 Aurora Black. I also wanted to say at the beginning of this video, there have been no significant changes to the Forte for the 2024 model year. Now, this being the GT line, as standard, you get halogen headlights with high beam assist, as well as LED daytime running lights, standard turn signals, and LED fog lights. Now, taking a step to the left, this is what the front end of the GT line looks like. So you may be able to tell you have your satin chrome Kia badging top dead center of your front bumper and then coming down just a little bit you may notice all that red accenting so the GT line as well as the GT both get red accenting so with that in mind I'm going to come in just a little bit to show you that you do get a gloss black front grille with the red accenting and then you also get some satin chrome trim beneath your headlights and your grille however you may notice that they are separated so they do not connect fully across this is just the license plate bracket because unfortunately here in Virginia, it is mandated by law to have a front plate. So that is why that is there. And then coming down just a little bit more, you get a satin black lower grill. And then on the outsides of your lower grill, you get this gloss black sporty trim with that red accenting. There's a view of that. There's a closer view of that side as well. And then on the outsides of your front bumper, you get your gloss black outer grills with some satin chrome accenting there same thing on this side as well and then i also wanted to say that you get 5.3 inches of ground clearance with the forte gt line now you may hear me say gt line about 23 times throughout today's video but specific to this trim level you get these 17 inch gray with machine accent wheels and these wheels are wrapped in 225 45 kumo majesty solus all season tires here's a closer view of the wheel face and then I'll try to get you a view of the tread pattern on those tires as best that I can, but that's about as good as it's gonna get. Now, let me give you a three quarter shot of this thing from about here. I apologize again about my shadow, but coming on down the side with this trim level, you get gloss black mirror caps with integrated turn signals. And as standard, these side view mirrors are heated, manual folding, and you will find your blind spot monitoring on the upper left-hand side of your driver's side mirror about right there. And on the upper right-hand side of your passenger side mirror about there. Now, taking a step back, let's do a little side profile shot of this thing. This is what it looks like here from the side. You do get satin black window trim as well as body color door handles with keyless access. Just keep in mind the keyless access function is only on your front two door handles. The rear two door handles do not get that keyless access function. And then also specific to the GT line, you get these uh, gloss black side skirts, which is what this piece is here. Try to pick that up on camera. So it just looks a little bit sportier here on the side and doesn't matter if you get the exterior color in white, doesn't matter, the GT line will always have these gloss black side skirts. Give you another view from this angle here. So that is what they look like. And then you also have your fuel door here on the driver's side, but you do have to go in through the driver door and pull up on this in order to pop that open. And now it should be open. You do not get a capless filler neck down in there, by the way. Here's a little rear three quarter shot of this thing. Not all that great. But up top here, you get a gloss black shark fin antenna. Again, if you got the exterior color in white, you will still get the gloss black shark fin antenna here with the GT line. And then you do get a rear window defroster. Your third brake light is located right there. And then also with this, you get this gloss black deck lid spoiler as well. So the GT line and the GT both get this. And then coming around back as standard, you do get LED taillights. 
And then taking a look at our trunk area, you get your satin chrome badging with the Forte badging, the Kia badging, and your GT line badging right there. Coming down just beneath your Kia badging, you will find your backup camera. And then just to the right of the backup camera, if you press on that pad, the trunk will open up. Decent amount of storage space considering the size of this sedan in here. And then you can also fold those second row seats down if you need a little bit more storage space. This is one of the three options that this vehicle has. And these are the $175 carpeted floor mats. So I'll try to give you a view of what they look like. Basically, you can see they have the Forte script on them. I'll try to pick that up, but it's not gonna come up all that well on camera. And then you do not get a spare tire. You get this tire inflator kit, and then that's also your tow hook. And that's kind of about it for what you got going on here in the trunk. In order to fold those second row seats down, you have this thing that you would pull on. You'd have this thing that you would pull on and then you just push on those seats and they would drop to give you an additional about four feet of storage space. And then you can grab onto here, pull that down and the trunk will close. So like I mentioned, the GT, the GT line does get a sporty specific front bumper for lack of a better word. Um, and the same thing is here at the rear. You also get a sporty GT line and GT specific rear bumper. Um, so you do have your signaling on the outsides of your bumper. So you got your turn signals and then you also have your reverse lights and then all of that is wrapped in some gloss black trim. And then you get a rather sporty rear balance back here. I'll try to pick that up on camera. That is what that looks like back here. And that's kind of about it for the exterior of the Forte GT line. So comparing this to the GT, the GT has a different engine that makes about 50 some odd more horsepower, maybe 60 more horsepower. Um, so this has all the show, it just doesn't have the go. The GT has the show and the go. So I guess with that stuff out of the way, let's move into performance. Popping open that hood reveals that two liter naturally aspirated four cylinder that makes 147 horsepower and 132 pound feet of torque. It is mated to an intelligent variable transmission for a zero to 60 time in 8.2 seconds. And if you were wondering about fuel economy, you can achieve 28 miles per gallon in the city, 39 miles per gallon on the highway for 32 miles per gallon combined with front wheel drive only. So you can only get front wheel drive on the Forte. You cannot get the Forte in all wheel drive. And then going back to the GT versus the GT line, the GT line is essentially just an appearance package to make the exterior of the Forte look sporty. This has no additional power over the other trim levels. And then when you go to the GT and the GT manual, those both get a smaller displacement engine, but they're turbocharged and they make you know about 50 some odd more horsepower than this but if you're enjoying the video so far today please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up please hit that subscribe button i'm on my journey to 100,000 subscribers and i cannot reach my goal without your support so if you're enjoying the video if you've learned anything from the video so far please just take a second to give it a thumbs up leave a comment in the comment section down below and hit that subscribe button the likes and comments in particular look very good for my channel in the youtube algorithm and that is what helps me grow so i'd appreciate it if you do those three things but only if you're enjoying the video but with that stuff out of the way let's move into the interior Moving on into the interior, like mentioned earlier in the video, you do get keyless access. So all you have to do is have your key fob in your pocket, walk up to the vehicle, press on this button right here, and it will unlock. You can press that very same button again, and it will lock right back up. This being the GT line, you do get the smart key. So you do get remote start, and then you have your lock function, your unlock function, trunk pop function, and your panic function. In order to start it, you got to lock it first, press and hold on this, and it will fire up. And that is what it sounds like when it fires up. But let's see what the interior on this particular GT line has to offer. So this one's been optioned with the $1,000 Sport Premium Package, which gives you these black Syntex trim seats with that gray accent colored stitching. You can see you get that GT line stitched into the seat back, looks very cool. But before getting into that, let's take a look at our door panel. So. Here, you get some black Syntex wrapping. It is nicely padded. You get some accent colored stitching. Then you get this faux carbon fiber-ish type looking trim, a satin chrome door handle. Here are your side view mirror controls. You have your unlock and your lock functions. You get an automatic up and down driver window, but none of the other windows are automatic up or down. This is to restrict your passenger window privileges. Then you get some storage space, a spot you could set a water bottle, and then this vehicle has also been optioned with the $1,400 premium package, which gives you the eight speaker Harman Kardon sound system. And that is what the speaker looks like here on the driver door. 
Now, again, this is what these front seats look like. And again, this one being optioned with the $1,000 Sport Premium Package, uh, that gives you the 10-way power driver seat with power lumbar. So here are your seat controls for the driver. Very sporty looking seats. They're also comfortable in my personal opinion as well. Uh, but yeah, this is what these seats look like. And then also with that Sport Premium Package, you get the heated and ventilated front seats. But let's step into the interior and see what the rest of the interior has to offer, shall we, right? So coming over to here, let's fire this thing back up. And uh, basically I'm gonna walk you throughout the entire interior. So coming over to here, this is to brighten and or dim your gauge cluster as well as your backlit buttons. This is to turn your blind spot safety system on or off. This is to turn your traction control system on or off. And if you flip that down, that gives you access into your manual tilting and telescoping steering wheel. So I can bring it towards me, I can push it away from me, and I can move it up and down. Once you find your comfortable position, you lock it back into place. And now let's take a listen to the turn signal. That is what the turn signal sounds like. Uh, but not only is this your turn signal control stock, this is also your headlight control stock and your fog light control stock. So that's headlights automatic, parking lights on, headlights always on, and then that's fog lights on, fog lights off. And uh, that's kind of about it for that. Zooming back out with the GT line, you get this flat bottom steering wheel. Um, it is leather wrapped and it, I just love the way that it looks and it feels in my hands. And like any other vehicle, you have your horn at the center. So let's take a listen. That is what the horn sounds like on the Forte. Coming over to this side of the steering wheel, this is to speak to the vehicle. See this mode button and this star button, both of these buttons are configurable. So if I click on the mode button, it's gonna pop this up on the screen. And I can choose any of these features here. I can actually select them all. So when I select all of them, Every time I click that mode button, it's gonna switch me into Bluetooth audio, phone projection, sounds of nature, and it's gonna go down this list, and then it's just gonna loop back around once it's gone through all of these things. Or you can have it set to you know two of these things, like you can have it on Bluetooth audio, FM, or AM, or you can just have it on one of them. But every time you click that button, it's going to bring you into FM, AM, or any of these things that you select. You can select all of these, you can select two of these, you can select however many of these that you want which differs from this bottom button. So when you click on this button, you can only select one of these options. Um, so reject the call, uh, or you could put it into privacy mode, bring you into your map, cancel a route, quiet mode, any of these features here with that star button, but you can only select one of these features, whereas with the other button, you can select multiple. And then if you click this home or phone button, it's going to bring you into your phone screen on the infotainment system. And then this is your volume control. This is your tuning control. One thing that's interesting about um, Kia products as well as Hyundai products is that when you click up on this button, it brings you back on a track. And if you click down on the button, it brings you forward on a track, which is opposite of what I would think it would be. Um, and then coming to this side of the steering wheel as standard, with this vehicle, you get the Nav Smart Cruise Control with stop and go. It's basically like an adaptive cruise control system. Uh, and these are your adaptive cruise control settings. And then coming over to here, you see that page button and then OK button as well as this thing here. That is to control your productivity screen located at the center of your gauge cluster. This is your windshield wiper control stock. And then this is what your gauge cluster looks like. So you have your tachometer on the left, cool and temperature gauge down there, speedometer on the right, and then you have your fuel gauge. Now going throughout that center screen right now, it's showing me that we're in park, the fuel range, the ambient exterior temperature and the odometer. But to control that, you have these buttons here. So if I click on that, you can go into drive information. Now I'm just gonna click down on this. You can go into your sensory fueling information, accumulated information, and your digital speedometer readout. Click on this button one more time, then you see your compass, or you can go in between uh, like your tire pressure stuff uh, on this last screen. So it's either driver assistance stuff, attention level, personally for me, this is the screen that I would leave it on. But again, that's all personal preference. Coming over to here with the GT line, you get this 10.25 inch infotainment system with built-in navigation and wired Apple CarPlay and wired Android Auto connectivity. Um, whereas all the other trim levels below this get an eight inch screen. So this is what your home screen looks like. You can see the time, the date, the audio stuff, and then the uh, navigation stuff subtly on that side of the screen. When you swipe over, this is what the secondary screen looks like. You can go in between all of those different things. Swipe over one more time, then you have the Kia Connect, uh, the owner's manual, which you would scan your QR code and it would bring you uh, to a website on your phone. But then up top here, uh, this is basically like your driver profile stuff. Then you have your home button, 
uh, the current time, the date, and quiet mode um, basically is like, let's say you have passengers in the rear, it's gonna turn those rear speakers off and it's gonna lower these front speakers to a volume in which the rear passengers could sleep to, if that makes sense. Um, one thing that's pretty cool about Kia products is that when you go into the setup, let's say you wanted to find something quickly, you see that magnifying glass, you click on that and let's say we wanted to go into like driver assistance stuff, right? You could type in driver assistance and boom, driver assistance is gonna pop up and it just makes it very easy um, to go into your driver assistance stuff. But that's kind of about it for that screen. I don't wanna spend too much time on it. This is your volume control knob. This right here, if you go throughout that, uh, it is your tuning control knob. And then you have all of these different buttons down here. So these are all your different shortcut buttons into map, navigation, radio, media setup. It will bring you, let's see, see the setup right there. If I click here, it's gonna bring me into my setup screen. So that is what it does between all of these different shortcuts. And then you see this thing right here, that is another configurable button, but you can see this one's filled in. This one is not filled in. So it basically, it's the same premise behind these two buttons here but this is gives you a different menu of options to choose from for this button. So you can go in between any of these things, but just like the other star, you can only choose one of these options. So these are all of the different options with that button there. And uh, that's kind of about it for that screen. Then you have your hazard button. Has, uh, hazard button actually flashes with the hazards themselves. Push button, start button, which you get with the GT line. Also with the GT line, you get dual zone automatic climate control. And this is what the climate control system looks like down here. Coming down just a little bit more, you get a wireless charging pad as standard, which my phone is in right now down in there. I have an iPhone 14 Pro Max and it fits in the wireless charging pad, no problem. Then down here, you get two USB-A ports as well as a 12 volt power outlet and some storage space. You could set a phone down in there if you wanted to as well. And again, this vehicle being optioned with the Sport Premium Package, you do get heated and ventilated front seats. Both get three levels of adjustability with those heated and ventilated front seats. Adjustability. Going into drive, flipping this over to the left. If I pushed up, that is going to upshift. If I pull down, that is going to downshift. So this is to switch between different gears uh, with the transmission. Then this is gonna bring you in between your different drive modes. You have three drive modes, normal, sport, and smart then this is going to pop up your backup camera on the infotainment screen you get an electronic parking brake with the gt line auto hold is basically a button you press that and the vehicle will hold you in place by itself with its braking system you get two cup holders a little bit of storage space here you could set your key fob then you get a padded armrest opening up the armrest you get a little bit of storage space down in there but really not all that much this is what the dash looks like from the driver's perspective you do not get a lockable glove box, but you actually get quite a bit of storage space in that glove box considering the size of the sedan. Uh, and then you also get uh, an illuminated glove box as you may be able to tell. Closing that back up. Up top here, you have your rear view mirror with your Kia Connect stuff. Um, so basically like roadside assistance stuff. And then this is not an auto dimming rear view mirror even though it looks like one. Then you get a spot you could set your sunglasses. Um, this vehicle being optioned with the $1,400 premium package gives you the LED interior lighting. So you get a light right there, you get a light right there. And by the way, I messed up. You do get a wireless charging pad with the $1,400 premium package. Back up to here, sorry I'm all over the place. You get your sunroof, uh, and the sunroof also comes a part of the $1,400 premium package. So it slides, it tilts, it does what you want it to do. It does what any other sunroof does. But this is your instant dome light on button. It turns on all the interior dome lights. This button is whether you want the lights to turn on or not when you open up the doors. Flipping this down, you get a vanity mirror and a little clip right here, but you do not get a vanity light. And then these visors do not slide forwards or backwards. So they are fixed in position. Uh, and that's kind of about it for what we got going on here in these front seats. Overall, it's pretty comfortable. Um, if you're on a budget, it's a pretty nice car. It's just not the quickest thing, uh, but it's got enough power to, you know, keep you comfortable, if that makes sense. So again, uh, this vehicle has been optioned with the premium package and the sport premium package in which I'll throw the entire window sticker on screen so you can take a look at what you get with both of those packages. And then you can also take a look at uh, where it says GT line and you can see everything that you get as standard with this vehicle. So 
Now, uh, I'm just gonna highlight the MSRP. So the MSRP of the way that this particular 2024 Forte GT line is spec'd is $26,285. But before getting into the driving portion of the video, I wanna show you what we got going on here in these rear seats. So, let's see what the door panel looks like back here. This is what it looks like. Let's see how far these rear windows go down. So the window goes all the way down. You get a little bit of storage space. You get a speaker. This is what these rear seats look like. I'm actually kind of surprised to see that you get a center fold down armrest with two cup holders. But sitting behind myself, I am five foot nine. I've actually got a respectable amount of uh, knee and leg room. Here's another view of that knee and leg room. And then up top here, you get an Opu panel and you also get a spot you could set your dry cleaning. One thing though, you do not get a seat back pocket behind the driver's seat. However, you do get a seat back pocket behind the front passenger seat. Just keep in mind, you may notice that it is mesh. Um, so you may be just mindful of what you set back there. And then on the passenger side rear, you do not get a spot you could set your dry cleaning, uh, whereas you do on the driver side. Then back here with the Sport Premium Package, you get these rear AC vents as well as the rear USB-A port. Otherwise, that you would not get that otherwise. Uh, and then, yeah, like I said, you get that nicely padded armrest. And when it comes to headroom, I've got quite a bit of headroom left over. I'd say about two inches of headroom. But, you know, we've talked about the exterior. We've talked about the performance. And now we've talked about what's going on here in the interior of the GT line. So I want to see what this thing's like to drive, as I'm assuming you guys do as well. So I will see you guys in the driver's seat. All right. Now on to the driving portion of the video. Take a listen. It's got pretty good get up and go. Um, it's not gonna be the fastest thing that you've ever driven, but it's got pretty decent get up. Um, if you need a little bit more power, you can look into getting some of the, uh, or the other trim level like the GT or the GT manual. With the GT, you do get a dual clutch transmission, which differs from this, where you get the intelligent variable transmission, which is basically a CVT. Here's another little acceleration floored. But this thing's got pretty decent get up and go. I know it's not gonna be the fastest thing that you've ever driven, uh, but it's actually pretty decently quick. And uh, it's got the power that you, you know, are looking for in a daily driver. Um, but if you need a little bit more power, then you might wanna look into getting the GT. You know, the GT is gonna give you an additional about 50 horsepower. It's gonna give you a different transmission. You can either get a dual clutch or you can get a manual transmission, um, both of which are pretty good. I've driven a K5 GT and that had a dual clutch and that transmission was awesome. It was responsive, it was just great overall. Um, and I just, I just did a like driving portion of the video, but for some reason my camera didn't save it and it got all messed up. I'm glad that I caught it and I checked it, but it was just acting weird and I noticed that it didn't like save the video that I just filmed so um, that's why this part of the video is rather short because I'm trying to get another video done before the sun goes down so um, anyways yeah this thing's got good get up and go like you'll see here just a regular little acceleration You're not gonna feel like it really needs any more power unless you're somebody who really, really enjoys power, who needs that additional power, uh, which personally for me, I really like power. Um, so I would probably look into getting the GT plus you get the dual clutch. So I would want a dual clutch over the intelligent variable transmission, but the intelligent variable transmission is rather decent. Um, but yeah, this thing gets very good fuel economy. It's just not the quickest thing. Now, it is decently well insulated from the outside world, um, except at about 50 miles an hour, you probably will hear a little bit of wind and road noise, but that's to be expected in a $26,000 vehicle. I mean, what can you expect? You know what I'm saying? It's, uh, it's pretty decent power wise, and it's also um, pretty decent um, when it comes to fuel economy. Actually, it's very good when it comes to fuel economy. So fuel economy is great. Power is pretty decent. Um, and it's very comfortable. These seats are very comfortable. However, let's say you're 220 pounds. I don't know how comfortable you'd be in these seats. Me being 150, I feel very snug in these seats. I feel like the bolstering feels very good. Um, and it's just like perfect for me. And I feel like I could push it through some turns and stuff. I also really enjoy the flat bottom steering wheel that you get with the GT line. 
But uh, yeah, that's kind of about it for today's video. I apologize this part of the video got cut short a little bit. I did a video recording uh, and it deleted it for some reason. That's the first time that has happened on my camera, so I apologize about that. But that's it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy the video, please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe button. I'm on my journey to 100,000 subscribers and I cannot reach my goal without your support. So if you enjoyed the video, if you learned anything from the video, please just take a second to give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment in the comment section down below and hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. But again, that is it for today's video. I will catch you all in the next one. Peace.